Okay, so on to the next track slash performance in Sonia's music <laughs> marathon. Uh, this one over here is now Ozzy Osbourne. Mama, I'm coming home. I know nothing of Ozzy Osbourne. The only thing I know, I think, I think it was him that bit a bat's head off on stage. <laughs> I think, I think that's the guy who did it. I know he is from the UK. Uh, there is a message over here uh, from Sonia that says uh, co-written and with, uh, I think he's from the UK, Ozzy Osbourne. I'm pretty sure he is. Uh, with okay, so co-written co with Killmister as well as uh, Ozzy's longtime guitarist Zach Wild. The lyrics are inspired by the realization that he would be dead if he didn't get sober, and is dedicated to his wife Sharon, who stuck by him through all of his crazy days. Okay, that's pretty awesome. So yeah, for those of you who are only joining us now, I suggest you go back and start watching from the very beginning. We actually did uh, Love Bites, which is quite interesting. It's actually quite a nice little uh, so, sort of symphonic hard metal um, type reaction. Uh, you'd be very surprised once you actually go watch it. You'll be surprised um, at these girls and what they can do. They're pretty good. Um, and yeah, for those of you who want to uh, join the sphere and want to watch additional content, I'm dropping one video every single day in the sphere. Um, it is subscription based, so it's like a, a, a small fee per month, but it's a small fee. It really is. And you get 30 extra reactions from me a month um, and you get 30 extra reactions from all the other reactors a month. So you get a lot of content and that's all starting today. So you can do that if you want to do that. Um, links are all down in the description. Click on the description. You can go to this fair. You can also join the Fable community. Uh, that's completely and utterly free. You will have to sign up to the site like opening up a profile as you would on Facebook, but it's free. It's got nothing to do with the sphere. The sphere is you sign up for a subscription, which take you a pay gate. But if you go to the Fable community and join the Fable community, it doesn't take you to a pay gate. It's completely free. Do not worry about that. So yeah, anyway, Ozzy Osbourne, Mama, I'm coming home. Let's rock and roll. Let's see what we've got. Let's go. So off the bat for me, this this uh, uh, I like instrumentally. The song is absolutely beautiful. Uh, his voice is cool as well. Um, so to me, uh, what it actually speaks to is uh, obviously you can see there's these elements, there's these uh, elements of his childhood uh, where he's suffering, and obviously that was a cascading effect. So his childhood affected him in his later years, where um, because of that, because he was holding on to all that pain, all that insecurity, um, he kind of went astray in his own life, right? Um, and then he got to a point where he realized, wait a second, things need to change or else my entire existence is just going to collapse. I mean, I, I can't be sitting here doing drugs and alcohol and carrying on doing these kind of things. Even though my past was terrible, it's about time that I actually learned to deal with that. Not forget it, but at least leave it in the past, right? And it's like he's tried so hard to run away from home, right? But by doing that, it actually created the psychological sort of uh, um, crack in his mind where he actually started running away from his from himself as well so kind of like his uh, um, um, sort of uh, priorities got skewed right and it started negatively affecting him essentially so this over here just speaks to the fact that he's kind of dealt with that kind of thing and him saying mama i'm coming home i'm not entirely sure if he's referring that to his mother or if he's referring that um as some endearing thing that he tells his wife or whatever else like sonia said over here um but i think it's kind of like okay i've gone astray for too long 
it's time for me to come home. It's time for me to sort of ground myself. I think that's where he's going with it, at least to my um, to my understanding. I'm coming home. I could be right, I could be wrong. It hurts so bad, it's been so long. Mama, I'm coming home. So. Selfish love, yeah, we're both alone. The right before the fall, yeah. But I'm gonna take this heart of stone. I just got to head it off. I've seen your face a hundred times Every day we've been apart wow. I don't care about the sunshine, yeah Cause my to their sunshine is like I don't care about the sunshine because mama I'm coming home I think he's actually equating that to his career in terms of being in the limelight and stuff like that so I kind of feel like it's it's sort of encapsulated his career encapsulated in him in a way that actually started becoming very negative essentially so what he thought was sunlight actually was in matter of fact uh, darkness essentially and he needed something to ground himself and that's why he needed to like get back he needed to get back to um, something that was real and not something that was just on stage for the adulation of people he doesn't know. He really needed those people who love him most to be by his side. And it's kind of like, this is his realization of that. And it's like walking away from the sunshine of what he perceived as sunshine and actually going home to what he perceived as darkness. But it's actually the reverse. The sunshine is at home. You know what I mean? And the darkness is um, what he what, what he was and who he was and how he acted on stage not because of his fans it's just because of his own psychological state anyway carrying on idea what it was about the 90s i think the must must have been either in the 90s or the 80s but that era and pigeons and doves i have no idea what the, the idea they always use doves in their videos for some odd reason you know what i mean they're just like oh we can't figure out what we need to do we need some level we need some kind of b-roll you know what i mean bring out the doves <laughs> let's go all the dolphins you guys are going to say what the dub represents the dub represents freedom yes you know what i mean it represents purity love light freedom and all of that kind of thing so it's his freeing moment i understand why they put it in there uh, um from that aspect but it just seemed to have been in a lot of 90s or 80s music videos <laughs>
that song though. I must be honest, I really like this song. Beautiful, beautiful song. The only thing over here where I kind of feel like, you know, it says that he dedicated this to his wife, but I kind of feel like he's speaking to his wife and his mother at the same time. But I think the way he's speaking to his wife is saying that he's he's not come to terms with his pain. He's not come to terms with his past. And in doing that, creating this song actually also deals with the, um, the, the mother aspect of it in terms of the pain and the lies and everything that he grew up uh, through. So I think he's actually talking to both uh, those women in his life. Um, and that's his way of creating some level of closure that benefits his relationship with his wife and I'm sure ultimately would benefit his own psyche when dealing with his past. Anyway, you guys let me know what you think down below and I will catch you on the very next one. Peace!